Hello everyone, good morning, Sage Live here at the Kalkine Studios and you're watching Early Trades. A show where we share with you a glimpse of the Australian share market's opening trading scenario along with the global and domestic drivers triggering the market's momentum. Now in the first segment of the show today we'll look at how the early morning trades panned out, taking cues from the Wall Street's action overnight. And then in the second segment we'll look at the prominent newsmakers grabbing the headlines during the early trading hours. And this will bring us to the third and final segment of the show where we'll discuss the movement seen in cryptocurrency, crude oil, gold and the metals indices. And the Australian share market opened in the green on Friday, likely buoyed by the gains in the gold stocks on the back of the firm bullion prices. The ASX 200 opened the day 36 points higher after falling 1.9% to 7,369.5 points in the previous session after payrolls data showed a steep fall in jobs in the first half of August. Cleanaway Waste Management, WiseTech Global and the JB Hi-Fi are a few shares going ex-dividend on Friday. In the overnight trade, Wall Street reversed earlier gains and the European stocks paired losses as investors remained concerned over the rising cases of coronavirus's Delta variant and the US Federal Reserve's tapering plans, as well as the strong US weekly jobless claims data. The three major U.S. stock indices closed on a weak note. However, they remained near the record highs and the Dow Jones fell 0.4%, the S&P 500 dropped 0.45% and the Nasdaq went down 0.25%. Earlier in the day, the U.S. data showed Americans filing new claims for jobless benefits fell to the smallest number in nearly 18 months last week. And moving on now to the second segment of the show. Let's quickly take a look at the highlights of the prominent ASX shares under the spotlight during the early trades, beginning with AMA Group. The automotive aftercare company has announced its plans to raise 150 million Australian dollars via a 142.8 pro-rate entitlement offer. The proceeds would help the company to strengthen its balance sheet and help offset the impact from COVID-19. And also catching the investors' attention, the technology company IRES, which has extended the due diligence period for its takeover by EQT Fund Management by 10 days. The funds represented by EQT Fund Management are planning to buy the software provider for an enterprise value of 3.2 billion Australian dollars. The share price of IRES is trading lower during the opening trade at $13.89 Australian. And moving on to the consumer and medical devices company RhinoMed, they have received an initial purchase order from the Victorian Department of Health for one million units of Rhino swabs to support Victoria's testing capability. And the company's Rhino swab technology has been proven to improve the sample collection process. And the share price of RhinoMed is trading higher during the opening trade at 45 cents Australian. Meanwhile, Sydney-based Australian oil and gas company Empire Energy Group subsidiaries Imperial Oil and Gas has successfully executed three grant agreements with the Australian Government which will facilitate an acceleration of work program activities. The share price of Empire Energy is trading higher during the opening trade at $0.325 Australian. And lastly, we have New Energy Solar, the investment entity focused on investing in solar power plants. The company recently announced that its off-market buyback would commence from 20th September 2021. Following the closing of the buyback on 22nd October 2021, the company will determine the price at which the buyback will be undertaken. The share price of New Energy Solar is trading higher during the opening trade at 81 cents Australian. And in the third and final segment of the show, let's now discuss the movement seen in the cryptocurrencies, bond yields, crude oil, gold and metals indices. And let's begin with the bond yields. The yield on the 10-year Treasury notes was down 4.3 basis points at 1.297%. And meanwhile, the dollar slipped after the US government saw a strong demand for a sale of 30-year bonds and the dollar index dropped 0.23% to 92.47%. And meanwhile, the crude oil prices fell on reports that China intends to tap its reserves. Brent futures fell 1.6% to settle at 71 US dollars 45 cents a barrel. 
WTI crude fell 1.7 per cent to 68 US dollars 14 cents. And over now to the energy stocks such as Woodside Petroleum, who could be trading. Actually, I'll just have to take a short break. I'll be right with you after this. Property by Kalkine. Looking for a dream home? Well, that may sound easy, but it isn't. And from looking for a property that is the right fit for you in terms of cost and other factors, to zeroing down on the right mortgage plan, there are various aspects to consider. And for the latest slowdown in the property market, tune in on Kalkine TV with me, Sage. I will give the latest updates on the property market as well as real estate stocks to help you make the right decision. Keep watching Property with Kalkine. And thanks for joining us at Kalkine TV. Moving on now, let's look at the futures in commodities and the gold prices inched higher on the softening of the US dollar. The spot gold prices rose 0.32% and the futures settled 0.4% higher at 1800 US dollars per ounce. And the ASX listed gold stocks such as Northern Star Resources Limited was seen in the green during the early trade while Newcrest Mining was trading lower during the opening trade on Friday. And that's all for now in the early morning trades. This is Sage signing off. Stay tuned to Calkine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you for sharing live updates across the economy, markets and sectors.